Hello everybody and welcome to another Halo review. Today we got the Jackal the Alien. Cause it's not a normal Jackal. I know they look so similar, the regular Jackal right here and the Alien Jackal, but this one is in fact an alien. His head goes that far down, but with the neck down farther. His head alone can look that far up. With neck, it can still look that far up because, yeah, the head is on a swivel hinge. The neck is on a swivel hinge. His mouth can do a pog move. <laughs> New emote, pog jackal. Here, let me get the pog jackal for you. Uh, his mouth can go down that far. His arm, 360, swivel hinge, can go up that far, down that far, and... 90. His upper body can swivel kinda, not all, not a 360. Can go up, down, has some tilt, it's like a ball joint. No lower body that I have found because there is none, so you're never gonna find any. His leg can go wah, that far out, it can kick that far back. And this far forward, like he's kicking a field goal. He has a thigh swivel. And his knee can go, he has like a triple knee thing. He can go that far forward at, at one knee, that far back with the other. The other, they're all hinge swivels, by the way, the knee points. The other knee can go that far back, that far forward. And then this little foot one can go that far forward, that far back. But all together, they can go this far forward, making a circle-ish thing, or this far back, which just looks wrong. And that covers articulation for this boy. Next, his accessory. Gun. That's it. He has these little pegs for a foot placement, and he has pegs at the bottom of his feet so he can go into it and stand. And then if you have, if you buy more of them, which they're only 10 USD, so I did, you can get another one. You can put this one's pegs on. Oh my god, his pegs won't go on. Pretend the pegs aren't, they're really not, but pretend they are. If you get like hundreds of these, you might be able to actually make some diorama that's really cool, except for it'll look weird with these hexagon shapes. But the rocks are pretty cool. I mean, I would love it if they had just a normal diorama with these instead of these little hexagon things. Oh, and am I forgetting something? Maybe the most beloved accessory of this entire line? Oh, a game add-on card for a game that still isn't out yet. Beautiful accessory. I mean, I, I love the printing and painting job on this. Just look at that. And it even has the little rating at the bottom. See back a card for more offers. That's amazing. The Xbox logo just looks so nice. All jokes aside, this is a really good figure. I have no idea what the game add-on does because the game isn't out. But for 10 USD, this thing really well, really good, and I will be using him in the future. Oh, I forgot to say this, but um, swivel hinge at the wrist. Um, and yeah, really nice figure. That I do recommend getting, just like all of them in this line. Jazzwiz does an amazing job. Oh, one last thing. Scale comparison. He is meant to be as tall as them. But, because they have not made an alien in the 6.75 inch line, yet, I have to do with this. I'm gonna call him Baby Jackal. The twin Baby Jackals. But, I think it looks good, honestly. It's just not to game scale. I think the scale looks pretty cool with the like having baby aliens but i would love to see some big boy aliens too and that does it for this review again he's a 3.75 inch and thank you all so much for watching and see you